I just wanted to let you know that I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to build the raw brand around a champion like you. I think we can really do something special together. But for that to happen, I'd prefer if you were out there defending your title as frequently as possible. So are you ready to be everything I think you can be? Yes, I'm ready. I want to be a reliable and consistent champion, unlike Bailey. And it's been my dream for so long to be one of the faces of Raw. So let's get started. That's great to hear. I already have a challenger lined up for your next title defense. You versus Bianca Belair is going to be a great match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Women's Intercontinental Championship. So we get started here. Let me remind everybody that the title is on the line here tonight. Yeah, but that's just a mere formality. The way I see it, there is no way we crown a new champion tonight. This may be her biggest title defense yet. <laughs> Here comes the EST of WWE. Cole Byron's like the EST of the commentary team. The worst? The dumbest. The ugliest. Hey, that, that, those are dumb examples. Watch what you say. Winner of the 2021 Royal Rumble. Don't worry, Saxton. You're the EST of the announce team. The first four letters are D-U-M-B, however. That's not funny at all, Corey. Nothing funny about Bianca Belair from bell to bell. A SmackDown Women's Champion who main evented WrestleMania. I believe that Bianca Belair is both the present and the future of the women's division. No argument from me. There are many more titles and many more main events in the future of the EST. Introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair! And introducing the champion from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, the Women's Intercontinental Champion, L. Undoubtedly, the top title in this company. And here's a superstar who's been touted to display all the attributes needed to be at the top of the women's division. I agree with that, Michael. And no matter what success she's had, I believe there's even more untapped potential in her. And some superstars could allow praise to go to their head, but not her. She keeps focus on the task at hand. And Bianca Belair, known as the EST of WWE. If you find yourself wondering exactly what that means, it's probably because you've never been the best at anything in your life. Talking to you, Byron. Bianca now held tight. Oh, a shin breaker! Gonna be hard to walk after that. <laughs> Belair now trying to capitalize. Oh, man, check out this power! And she's stunned to the corner. Bulldog! 
delivered with force. From behind, he snapped German suplex, and the EST got bested there. Look out. Oh, pendulum overhead kick. Fez press, Fez press, Fez yeah. press. And Belair is being broken down. Bianca here in a disheartening position. Movement. Crush with a running knee strike. Uh oh. Here's a setup for that raw strength. Oh, what a kick! And she for the win to retain the championship. This is where desperation becomes a factor. Time to pull out all the stops. Turned that one around. Bianca able to take a stand there. Yeah, she's getting a determined focus again. Whoa! Ho, ho. The height on the moonsault. And Belair is making a statement right there about what happens when you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best. She's taking things to ringside. Under the ropes and back into the ring. Ugh, targeting the stomach. Now a pin for the championship. She still fights out in one. Her iron will on display for the world to see. Whoa, and a roundhouse to cap it off. Night, night. Oh, what an arm drag. Knee strike. The challenger being outclassed here. This is a very dangerous situation now. Really just laying it in. Bianca Belair has her in position. K.O.D. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Shoulders down. Shoulders up. Shoulders up. The title still hanging in the balance. Resilience of a champion on display. Belair has to be contemplating her next step now. If that was her plan A, she needs to move to plan B. Ooh. Belair now trying to capital from the top. Double axe handle connects. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Oh. Attack after attack on target. Into the corner now. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. The top on time bomb. Up across the shoulders. Into a sidewalk slam. Wow. Awesome. Two. For some reason, she lets it go. She might have something else planned here. Belair gets 
countered. Lost. Oh, tremendous pinning combination. Whoa, didn't expect to see that. She's going to try it again. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh, the title's going nowhere. The champion retains. your winner and still women's intercontinental champion Elle. and if you're getting a victory like that you got to be feeling pretty good about yourself you put in the work and good things happen that's a performance that everybody should hope to emulate Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. She is determined to stay atop the division. We'll see if she can do just that. The War Goddess. You can thank Hall of Famer Booker T for much of Ember Moon's success. The first competitor to ever win both the women's title and women's tag team titles in NXT. Something tells me Ember's Law is about to be served tonight. Introducing the challenger from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. And introducing the champion from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, the women's intercontinental champion, Elle. You win this title, you are a top name in this industry. Kendo sticks, garbage cans, chairs, ladders, throw in the kitchen sink. Because you can get nailed with anything in an Extreme Rules match. Now, this is the epitome of carnage and chaos where anything can turn into a lethal weapon. Which is why it is crucial to exploit a weakness as soon as it's discovered. An arm breaker! Ember gets her back. 
Here we go. Inverted DDT. Spike. Way to steer clear. She had it scouted. She is looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. And now she's looking to go top rope. She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. Oh, God! And that might have been too erratic of a decision to take such a high risk at this junction of the match. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, pinpoint kick to the back. Oh, my goodness. Kick to the spine. Oh, that's going to sting your back. She's staying elusive. Look at this. Boom. Nice. And Moon is really dialed in. Moon is firmly in the driver's seat. Boom, what a kick. Sidewalk slam. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. She goes back inside the ropes. And no countouts means she has the whole outside to play with. Ember caught by surprise. She could be turning her fortunes around. Butterfly suplex. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Fishing for something beneath the ring. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. Can't be stopped. Ember with some agility. Comes back into the ring. Nasty kick to the face. And Ember's resolve might be wavering here. The Shinom has to find a way to right the ship here. Oh, great. Now for something painful and tall. That's just hard to watch. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. She's got a table and no doubt has some dangerous plans in mind for how to use it. And back into the ring she goes. Gets inside the ring. She's getting that table right where she wants it. She clearly has something in mind. They wrapped around the head. One wicked attack after another. Ooh! Bang! Pulled right back in. Side slam. Ooh! A bad place to be for the challenger. Yeah, the physical price of the Extreme Rules stipulation is really starting to show now. Walks in the gut wrench. All the way up and... And look at her. Ooh, she'd had enough of that. And what's she gonna do with this table? set up a buffet. What do you think she's going to do, Saxton? That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. All the way to the outside. Just crashing down with high impact. She will wisely return to the ring now. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Russian leg sweep and the octopus stretch is applied. What is she going to do here? Is she going to tap out? No! Able to slip underneath and deliver some blows, creating the break. Yeah. Suplex! She's taking things to ringside. Oh boy, kendo stick in hand, nefarious look in her eyes. Right to the kidneys from behind. 
Ooh, man, backbreaker. DDT! The challenger is in some big trouble. This has just been an absolute massacre. You can almost see the gears turning in their head as they set up the table. She's got something big in mind. Oh no, looks like we want tables. She's making her ascent. Totally, oh no! That was an unbelievable gamble from the ladder. A risk that could have easily backfired. Cover by the champ. One, two, three, no. Title match continues. This started as a match. Now it's a test of will. What's she going to do to Moon? Oh, man. Into the neck breaker. Oh. The champ has this one in hand now. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. WWE Universe wants tables. Well, they've got tables. She's into the ring again. Ooh, kick to the face. Moon sidesteps that. Double under on the fly. Right to the spine. The champ looking worn out. In order to succeed in an extreme rules match, you have to be willing to sacrifice your body a bit, guys. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. I know she's in a league of her own, but this is ridiculous. Was ready for that. What now? Inverted layout DDT. Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. You can see her struggling to find her bearings. Soaring. Oh, Ember Moon on the attack. Yeah, Ember's executing on her game plan. This could be big. Going up high. Boom. <laughs> Places her right in the corner. Bulldog! She's bringing the table into play here. She is done playing around. She's got some bad intentions in mind here. This could be enough to seal the match. Beginning that all-important... Oh, no! Oh my God! High risk, high reward. That's what that was about. Intense luck. Champ looking to end this. Ember Moon gets the shoulder up, and guys, that was close. I can't believe it. The people can't believe it. I don't think the referee can believe it. Things went from bad to worse. Counter from Ember. She steers clear of it. Walk slam. Ember shoots up to the top. She wants to finish this. Perched on the top rope. Oh. Taking it outside the ring now. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Oh no, a sledgehammer. Better call the paramedics right now. She wants it one more time. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh, a championship level move. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner and still women's intercontinental champion, Al. Love seeing her get the win. And it was a big match for her. Every single victory in this business means something. And you can tell just by looking at her reaction that she absolutely understands that in this moment.